All right, guys, it's an exciting day in the studio. I've got my gear getting packed up for the artist residency I'm about to do in less than a week up at Sperry Chalet. It's gonna be sweet, and to make it even better, I've got a brand new easel to open up and check out. It is the Yugo Medium Size by New Wave Fine Art. I am excited to get it open and kind of give you guys an initial impression of it. I'm gonna put it through two weeks of hardcore painting trials. Now, I've got a little bit of an easel addiction. I've gone through, I think this is probably my fifth easel now. I love to check out new gear and test things out, and it's cool how each easel influences how you paint, and obviously how you paint influences what easel you're gonna buy. So I love lightweight gear. I love to hike when I paint. It's not like I just set up out of my tailgate in my truck. I get out there and crush trail. So this is a lightweight kit. I'm excited to try this out and hopefully love it. Without further ado, let's get this thing open. All right, here we go. That feels like quality. I'm excited by that. Oh man, those hinges are strong. I heard that in a review by Michael King. Go check out his video too. He does a great comprehensive review of this thing. And yeah, awesome. They got some great information in here, instructional videos. That's nice, I got a backup palette. Cause I also got the glass insert. So let's check that out next. All right, they use magnets a lot in this build, which I think is great. Magnets are cool, they're fun, very modern. Everything slides, which feels nice and strong. So I heard the 9x12 is a bit of a tight fit in this thing, but I'll be curious to check that out for myself and see what I think. They do come off, which is neat. Love that snappy feel. Here is the glass palette. Looks like it's pretty well packaged in here, kept safe. Okay, so you just pop this off, magnets down, slide out this piece of acrylic. Not my jam. And as a side note, to look down here, this is all CNC'd out to reduce the weight, which I'm a huge fan of. And this mount job, not only does it look really clean from the outside, nice and flush, but it's really stable, really sunk into the deeper part of the wood. I like that design feature. Let's get this in there like that. Let's see, how's this going like that? Oh, no, nope, wrong way. Bam. Yeah, so it's a pretty reasonable mixing space for the size. Um, I prefer it to be a little larger maybe, but I know they gotta increase the stability out here by the hinges, so that might just be the limit of what they could make. I just love that they make a glass palette available. Highly recommend that just in general. It's very helpful to have a good, easy to clean work surface. So now this is the base unit, but what they also sell are these additional storage bins, whatever you call them, they're brush holders. Um, I've heard these are great. I saw them in some other videos. I was excited to try them out. And since I am very used to having a large easel to work with, I went for the big one. This is the mechanism that helps hold it to the easel. So I believe this thing just, yeah, it just sticks on there like that with a magnet. Dang, that's cool. And then right on like that. Okay, it feels pretty stable. And I believe this is used just to help secure extra gear or hold the brushes into it. Um, I'm excited to try that out some. That sits flat. Let's get the other one open. Come on now, there it goes. Clicks right in. Yeah, it feels pretty stable. All right, so it seems like it'll hold my usual small brushes with plenty of room. And even my larger rosemary brushes, it should be able to hold and keep from rolling around. I love that little, little feature. You can keep your brushes separated. Very smart. Yep, that's cool. Palette knife can sit in there, no problem. And before a very busy plein air time, I usually fill up a standard, you know, pill holder for a week. That's where I keep my paints so they don't mess up my easel very much and I can easily put them somewhere cool to keep them fresh and it limits the airflow on them. So I'll probably put that on this side so I've got plenty of mixing space here without adding my paint pools and I have an easy cleanup option. So that's probably what I'll use this other piece for or I'll uh, maybe stick it here. If I can, maybe I'll put some Velcro down 
get that there, and then keep my paper towels here so I have something to wipe, wipe my brush off with. But either way, I think this is going to give me a pretty awesome amount of space, and I'll give this thing a way out and see what it's like with all this uh, attachment gear on the, on the side. Let's check it out. All right, so here is my cooking scale. Coming in at four pounds right now, or 64 ounces, which is pretty, pretty heavy. Um, but that's, again, with the glass and this extra holding material, these extra uh, storage areas. So, you know, I'm not really surprised by that weight. I wish it was, you know, still closer down to that two pound mark, but you can't always get what you want. And all these things are a compromise for ruggedness and durability. You're gonna have something that's a little bit heavier. So overall, I'm pretty stoked about trying this thing out. Okay, so this is a nine by 12 panel. It's usually the largest I'll kind of do plain air. I've heard that this will hold that size, but that it's pretty, pretty close to the limit. Let's see if I can get this thing to vertically. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely not, not super rugged for the nine by 12 size, but you know, again, Michael King mentioned adding some more magnets up to the top here. And that might be something I try. Uh, it does hold it though. So I'll just be advised maybe maybe to bring a clip or two. I usually will do that in high wind anyways, clip paper towels down, but I'll clip also maybe the panel in if I'm gonna do vertical. But horizontal is no problem at all for this thing. Fits it great. So I'm excited to go out and get this thing into action. I'll let you know. Is made out of some premium Baltic birch plywood. It's got great aluminum accents and reinforcements, which is important for a rugged plain air easel. I'm hoping that the sliding mechanism is gonna work great. This easel mounts onto any tripod, which is pretty much paramount for most modern plain air gear. The French easel is just kind of old school. As cool as they look, this is the way to get up there into the really awesome places in the mountains. Portability is key. The basic kit comes in around $200, which is pretty affordable for the modern uh, professional easel market. You can get cheaper ones, but boy, I tell you to watch out. They're usually you get what you pay for with easels. You know, I love that this is made in America. And by the way, this isn't a paid for video in any way, shape or form. I chose to buy this easel based off of a lot of my artist friends that use it and generally seeming good reviews. So with that said, I'm also going to bring my day tripper easel. You can tell this thing's had a lot of use. I love this easel. It's by the prolific painter. I'll jump into some of my other easels in a future video when I get back from this, but I'm bringing this as a backup. So look for that video in a couple weeks when I put this thing through the paces. Two weeks of hardcore field testing should really give me an idea of what this easel is capable of, and I'll let you know my thoughts. I hope this video is helpful or interesting, and if you guys don't mind liking and subscribing, it'll help me get further on YouTube. Much appreciated, and I'll see you in two weeks. Peace.